What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and today I want to bring a video I know it's been a long time coming but this is going to be a video about Toronto Raptors Weekly yes I know I haven't been doing it weekly I probably haven't done it in at least a good three weeks I think and to be honest with you one I know I've been doing it on Wednesday but I've just been really, really busy and just haven't got around to doing it. And, uh, you know, I, I want to get back into doing it, but um, I'm going to try to be more consistent at it. You know, that's my team, my team growing up, and I want to talk about them as much as possible. So I'm going to start making more videos about them again. But today is a video that I've been actually wanting to make for a long, long time. Um, actually stemming back from that Sacramento debacle that happened and basically what I wanted to talk today about is it's, it's twofold but the main thing is is that the Raptors get absolutely no respect in the league period and you know, I don't want to sound like I'm a whiny fan and, you know, everyone's fan base is going to say that they got, you know, ripped off and got cheated and all that stuff. But I promise you, I swear that the Raptors get the short end of the stick more than any other team in the NBA. And, I mean, it happens at least once or twice a season where it's just blatant and obvious. And this season... That whole thing in Sacramento is just another, you know, you know, it's just another notch on the belt as far as us just getting disrespected. I mean, let's face it, if that was Cleveland, that game would have gone into overtime. But because it's the Raptors, nobody cares, and, you know, they made their decision that somehow or another you didn't get it off because of one-tenth of a second. Please. So, I mean, the main reason why that we just don't get the respect, and it, it is a, it's an obvious thing. I was just reading the other day on one of the message boards, and they were talking about, you know, the Christmas games, and one person was like, are the Raptors going to be on a Christmas game? And, you know, the answer to that is obviously no. Because let's face it. Nobody cares about the Raptors other than people from Canada. I mean, there might be the odd person here and there. I mean, I remember hearing last year and actually the year before uh, about Kevin Durant saying that he was actually, a, you know, a Raptors fan growing up. Which was real surprising to me when he said that. But then when he said why, it made all the perfect sense. Because of Vince Carter. So, you might have the odd fan here and there. But anybody outside of Toronto and outside of Canada, they're not caring about the Raptors. I mean, we're just that other team over there. I mean, more, more, more people care about Sacramento and Minnesota than care about the Raptors. So, if anything happens, nobody's going to really care. No one is going to stick up for us. We're just that other team. And it's unfortunate because I think that our team is really good. We've been good for a while now. I mean, coming into the league, our team competed. You know, we didn't have a whole lot of talent, but our team was, from the jump, we always competed. We're always a team that nobody really wanted to play against, and that is continue on. I mean, we've had our bad years and stuff like that, but since we've got the right nucleus, we've been a very good team. At the beginning of the season this year, when I read all the predictions about who's going to win this and win that and 
who's going to be the best team in our division. It wasn't us. It was Boston. So, you know, I think the year before it wasn't us again. It was some other team. I can't remember who it was. But it's never us. Next year, it'll be some other team that's going to be beating us. But yet and still, we're, you know, the number two team behind Cleveland in the East. We're one of six teams that still has single-digit losses for the year. And right now, believe it or not, we're the number one efficient team for offense in the NBA. Now that part I couldn't actually believe in myself. So I had to go look that up. I had read a news article about record-setting offensive efficiency. And I, I didn't believe it. But I went and looked myself and it's true. Right now we're, more, we're a more offensively efficient team than even the Golden State Warriors. And I couldn't believe that. Because our team is not a very pass-efficient team. We do a lot of isolation, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I didn't look up the stats as far as team assists, but I'm pretty sure we're not near the top or near the bottom. But yet and still, right now, we're the most efficient offensive team in the NBA. Second in field goal percentage, second in three-point uh, percentage, third in scoring in the league. I think second in point di differential for a league two. So that is very surprising. I mean, we're really, 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 really doing well offensively. And I don't know if we're going to be able to hold this up because, like I said, we're, we're too much of a one-on-one -on -one team. There's not a lot of distribution, you know, passing the ball. So, we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one baskets, a lot of uh, baskets off the dribble, and jump shooting teams have their ups and their downs more than a team that passes the ball. I mean, you know, you, you can get your points off of jump shots, but that's, that can be inconsistent. You have a bad shooting game, you're going to get hammered. You got teams that, like Golden State, that passes the ball, you get very easy baskets. So, I don't know we're gonna, if we're going to be able to hold that up. I mean, DeMar, I said he's no way he's going to hold up scoring 30-plus a game. He's now down to 28 a game. I'm surprised he's still at that. I still don't think he's going to be able to even hold up that 28. He's third in the league in scoring behind Westbrook and Anthony Davis. So... That's pretty, con it's still very impressive, but I think by the end of the year, he's going to be around 25, 26 points a game, and um, I mean, that'll be fine. It's funny, people are talking about him being MVP of the league, but I don't even think he's the MVP of his team. To me, the heart and soul of our team, and really the way we've turned things around, not that we were doing bad in the beginning, but we're doing all right. But the play of Kyle Lowry has really, really raised our team's level to just another level. I mean, he's shooting the ball like crazy right now. And, I mean, he's shooting like, I don't know, like 46% from three. 45, 46% field goal. And that's after having a real, real rough start to start the season. I mean, these last few games, he's been shooting like 60, 70% from the field. I mean, it's just amazing how well he's doing. And as he goes, the Raptors go. When he plays well, because, I mean, he's not, he's not shooting like 30 times a game. He's only shooting like maybe... Nine, ten times a game, but he's shooting like six for nine, seven for ten, five for eight. I mean, it's just amazing the way they're doing it. So, I hope they keep it up. I wish that the league would respect us more. I think, in general, the teams definitely do respect us. 
I mean, I remember when they were playing Golden State and they were showing in the huddle and Steve Kerr was talking to his team and even talking to the reporters, you know, giving us all the praise and saying we're a really, really good team. So I think teams in general respect us, but the league as a whole and the people outside of Canada, they could care less about us. So it's real unfortunate, but it is what it is. And part of it also is that we don't really have a superstar. We have two star players, but no real face of of our team. You know, they don't have, like, we did at one point in time with, you know, with Vince Carter. You know, someone that can just take the league by storm, have everyone talking about them. I mean, DeMar is great. Kyle is great. They're NBA stars. They're Olympic gold medalists. But they're not superstars. So, you know, nobody really respects us like that. And I don't know what it's going to take for people to respect us. We're going to have to, definitely we're going to have to beat Cleveland, get into the NBA Finals, win. It's going to be the only way that we're going to get any respect. Because other than that, I mean, we're just from Canada. Who cares about Canada? So, that's, that's my little rant um, for today. Uh, I mean, we're playing well. I think the last time I checked, we're 20-8. and eight, First place in our division. Like I said, second place in the conference. And I think that we have a team that has the capability of beating any team in the NBA right now. I know we lost three times to Cleveland already, but man, it's not like we got blown out. We lost three games by a total of 11 points. So you know that those are close games. I mean, you're talking about games that came down to the last minute, games that came down to sometimes the last possession. You know, a possession here, a possession there was the difference in the game. So I think that we have an opportunity to beat these guys. We're still not at full strength. So I'm interested to see how good our team will be once we're at full strength and we have a full lineup. And to see how far we can go. Anyways, that's it for the video for today. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and be more consistent with my Raptors analysis and stuff like that. I haven't been able to watch as many videos as possible because I guess YouTube's cracked down on streaming videos on YouTube like they were before. I was watching all the games before, but now I can't even seem to find one. So, whatever. They don't play Raptors games down here, except if, you're, if we're playing the Hornets. What the hell would I want to watch that for? Anyways, if you liked the video, definitely feel free to leave a like. Um, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel and you like the content you see, Definitely hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, just try and show my channel as much support as possible. Share this video with as many people as you can. If you're a Toronto Raptors fan, let's get the discussion going with as many people as possible and support our team. And let's just talk about it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Peace.